Hello and welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to explain about bending moment and how we interpret them and use them in the design of beams. Well, let's start. Well, before going deep into the explanation, let me open, uh, I have opened this uh, ETAPS uh, model and let me show you uh, the bending moment of this element, okay? Okay, let me show the values maybe here, or whatever, let me apply it here. And let me see the one elevation out of this, okay? Now this is the elevation. These horizontal members are the beams and these vertical ones are the columns. Now here, if you uh, pay close attention to this, bending moment shows me the variation, the bending moment diagram shows me the variation of the bending moment along the length of the beam, okay? It started from this end and in this, uh, this end, okay? Now you see there is a certain gap, okay, before the moment starts, okay? This is a length over the column dimension exists okay so the column may be here at the center so half of it here and half of it somewhere here okay so the bending moment effect will start from the phase of the column okay now our main topic is how we use them and how we interpret them this bending moment here we call this red part is the negative moment and around the mid span is the positive moment again here around the support again the negative moment and then around the mid span the positive moment well here the bending moment shows us exactly where we need to provide our main reinforcement, our main longitudinal reinforcement that will resist the bending effect. For example, here, the moment is above the beam, right? So the top section will be under tension and the reinforcement will be required to resist this, this much uh, tension, okay? So this much tension that is developed due to this bending moment. So this flexural stress that will be developed here will need reinforcement at the top here. If we come to the uh, mid span, so the bending moment is around the bottom, right? It is at the bottom. So main reinforcement will be required at the bottom. Maybe some minor or minimum reinforcement may be provided or if it's doubly reinforced section, so uh, to maybe few uh, area of steel will be required at the top. But the main reinforcement will be at the bottom so we as engineers we need to follow this bending moment diagram and provide the reinforcements accordingly like this here top reinforcement here bottom reinforcement here the top reinforcement here bottom here top here bottom and here top okay so this is how uh, the bending moment diagram gives us the idea where the reinforcement is required along the length of the beam okay so this uh, is how we will use and how we will interpret the bending moment diagram. If you find if you find this video uh, helpful, please uh, like and if you have any questions, you can write in the comment box. Thank you for watching. See you next time.